Hello. In this tutorial you will learn how to do uh, repeated measures ANOVA with Python and the Python package stats models. So stats models uh, you can install using pip but in that version you get installed uh, uh, repeated measures ANOVA is not yet included. So what we need to do is install stats models from the master from github that is. So what we're gonna do here is install virtual env which is a software that you can create Python virtual environments where you can set up a testing environment for instance. So we what we're gonna do then after we have installed virtual env we're gonna create a Python virtual environment where we install stats models from github and some other packages we need to have and after we have done that we s will start a Jupyter notebook and run our repeated measures ANOVA in that notebook so the next thing we're going to do is install virtual M. so use your preferred package manager in let's say Ubuntu I like to use apt so just fire up your terminal window and type sudo apt install virtual env and then type in your password of course so yes now it's installing right next thing to do is now to create the virtual environment so what you need to do now is go to your folder where you like to keep your project so I keep mine my, my in the Python folder so we can create a subfolder here for the virtual environment for instance repeat the measures ANOVA right now we can start creating the virtual environment so let's type virtual env and the new folder we created alright so ne next thing is to activate the environment our environment source then activate right so now I've changed to the directory we created now we can start installing the dependencies of stats stats models so pip install Cython skypy numpy Patsy, pandas, matplotlib, right this, this is gonna take some while alright we also need to install IPython and, and Jupyter since we're going to use a Jupyter notebook to run the analysis in so pip install Jupyter IPython alright and now when we have done that we can um, install stats models so we're gonna take it from github so you can just copy pa paste the URL here and then we type pip oop, pip install git plus and then paste okay now when we have it installed there's one final thing we need to do before starting the Jupyter notebook so we need to install a kernel for 
the virtual environment so that we can run uh, Jupyter Notebooks within the virtual environment or else it will be run running Python uh, installed in this for the system right so I Python now install name we give it a name like RM Arv and it's for the user right so when that is done we can fire up a Jupyter notebook okay so let's create a new one we see here that's the name of the kernel we just created so let's create a new notebook okay now to the fun part so I'm just gonna s simulate some some d data uh, let's assume that there were 40 subjects um, and we have um, two conditions we can remove this and values is just the response times for condition one the mean and the mean for condition two and we create um, a data, data frame here we randomize based on a normal distribution uh, so we get some values for the different conditions it doesn't really matter what what matter here is is that we have some identification for for each subject we created there here and we have the dependent variable and the independent variables right so we can just see how it will look so it's a simple data frame like this so next thing is to run the analysis okay so let's create our our repeated measures ANOVA object so let's call it our RM it's just to use the class we imported up here right so we first the first we need is to put in our data frame so it's DF right and the next f thing is the dependent variable and that will be RT the response times next is the subject identifier right and that was ID and finally we, we have our independent variables so they're within and they need to be in a list right and this is creating an object uh, to get a analysis done we have to run the method fit right so we can run this see if it works it seems to wor work and then we can get the output from the fit object by typing fit dot summary and here we can see the f value the degrees of freedom and the p value so unfortunately right now we don't get any more out of this method but there you go repeated measures ANOVA using stats models